Hello, this is Arsino. This is going to be a tutorial on chroma keying. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be using green, a green poster board for this. But you can use any colour you want, just as long as it's different from the image, just as long as it's different from the set in the foreground. So what you're going to need for this is a minifigure and a set which isn't green, and a green material such as chroma cloth or green poster card will do. That's what I'm using here. Just as long as you can get a solid green colour out of it. You're also going to need some lamps to light the uh, subject and the background separately. My second lamp's blown up, so that's not going to work. So I'll be using this lamp today. Um, you're going to want to position the uh, green screen on the wall, on a wall or on a surface, so that it is curved at the bottom. That's so the light can reflect off it better, and so there's no creases in the card. And you're going to want to place the minifigure as far away as you can, or the set, as far away as you can from the green screen, so that you're not getting any green reflections onto the uh, the foreground set, because uh, this will uh, ruin the keying afterwards, because you'll be like replacing the minifigure with an image in the background which is not what you want. Right, so you're going to want to open up your uh, capture program and play around with the settings and the lighting until the green in the background is a solid green. Um, if it's not solid then it'll be difficult to key it out in post-production. Alright, once you've uh, captured your images and formed them into a video, you're going to want to open the video into your keying program. I'm going to be using Cinegob's keyer today. You can use anything from After Effects to Sony Vegas. Okay, so as you can see I've got Cinegob's keyer open now. What you're going to need to do from here is go to File, then Import Video forward slash Image Sequence, and then select the saved video file that you have made from your capture program and as you can see it previews the video in the bottom you can play it if you want right what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the general tab and we're going to select the color that you want to use by using the color picker but then you click the background of the color where it is right then we're going to go to this color differences and detail mats box you're going to click the drop down box and click use screen exact color for and then slower this is important for the mats right from here you're going to, want to go to color difference matte this black threshold tab you're going to move it to the right hand side until the background becomes yellow completely that looks about right to see if it's worked you click the color difference button here as you can see, it's uh, replaced the background with some checkered thing. That's just the pre that's just the pre-built-in background image. Okay. From here, right, you're gonna go to this opacity thing. This is just to clean up the edges a bit. And you're gonna move this to the left until the edges have uh, smoothed out a bit. And now you're gonna want to get rid of the uh, green glow around the outside. Uh, you'll be able to see if I zoom in. You can see there's a green tint around the outside of it there. So I'm going to click the spill button. And then, as you can see, it's removed all the green. Uh, but it's made the minifig's head like a bit orangey. So I'm going to go to the spill suppression tab. And I'm going to reduce the level until the head gets the right colour again. But the green still keyed out. That looks about right. Okay, I'll zoom back out. It's not it's not looking too bad right now, right? You're gonna want to put a background image on now. So to go do that, you're gonna go to the preview tab, and then click the drop-down background menu, click image from file, 
and then click load image and just select whatever image you want. I'll just pick some random one here. If I've got one. That'll do. There you go. As you can see the background has been removed and rep replaced with um, a picture I've selected. Okay, from here you want to click this output tab right here and then on this image channels drop down box select preview and in the output output type box this needs to be on AVI single file okay from here just click this uh, render and save video button and name your video and click save on the video oh, okay this video compression box is going to come up from here you just want to make, sh make sure this is on full frames and compressed but uh, watch out because this is going to have a quite a big uh, image it's going to have quite a big uh, file size so make sure you've got some room on your hard drive okay and that's it this has been a tutorial by Arstine Irvin thanks for watching cheers